afternoon, YouTube family. This is Shirley coming to you with a tag. I seen the, call me Lyles, Lyles, my Australian friend. She was doing, she did a tag and I screenshot it, but I lost the title of it. But I'm going to put down her link on, in the bottom. It's um, call me Lyles. It's called the YouTube community tagged, um, tagged by Jasmine Huretta. I think that's who tagged her. But I'm I got this from I got it from her, so from Call Me Last. She is a sweetheart from Australia. I just love her to death. All of her looks, her outfits, her clothes, her earrings, her accessories. Oh my god, I love her so so much. She is on the other side of the earth. She, it's gonna be summer here and she's going into fall. And I'm and it just is mind blowing to to know that she's on the other side and they have a whole different season compared to us and I, I'm just grateful and honored to know a person on the other side just like that so it's kind of exciting to me and uh, so definitely shout it shout, um, shout out to, to Lyle so hopefully she is enjoying her day and um, I'm taking this lash off I'm tired of it right now I'm tired all right you guys are gonna love me no matter what so the first question what are your favorite videos to watch I watch a lot of Ross and Dollar Tree hauls um, I like bargains and sales I am really good at looking at things uh, those two places give me so much inspiration in a budget uh, way I do a lot of creative things at home and ideas and um, all kinds of things that I I made mean, like a nice spruce or a change in my life or in one of the rooms in the house. Those are the two places I could go to and I know I'm not I'm not murdering the bank, so absolutely. So I watch a lot of those videos too. But currently I've been watching a lot of health videos about how to take care of yourself, detox, how to um take care of yourself, inflammation, how I need to reduce sugar in my life. You know, I'm thirty eight trying to stay looking proper and good and not have a bad um toxic bloodstream full of sugar and that's my problem so i'm trying to work my best to bring that down i did bring my cholesterol down too you guys so i don't have anything i don't have hypertension high cholesterol i don't have diabetes i don't have anything yet so i'm just working on making sure i could take care of me so that I could take care of my kids and just removed our, ourselves out of sugar. Sugar is the culprit to everything and sugar is crack cocaine, okay? And you're supposed to only have like less than two or three tablespoons of sugar a day. So if you have more than that, be careful or exercise or run to get it out of the system. It's really bad. It creates a lot of inflammation if you ever think about it. Just, just monitor your sugar intake, not just the one that you add to your coffee, which is my biggest culprit, or tea, which is the big one, the next one, cake, which is another thing. Cookies is the devil, and I eat that every day. You got to figure out other things that already have it, like food has sugar, rice has sugar, bread has, <sighs> carbohydrates is full of sugar, so... We're embedded with sugar without us even knowing. So intermediate intermediate fasting is another big thing to do to just detox the body, which I'm learning to do now. So I could actually wake up in the morning now after eight hours of sleep and actually don't eat breakfast and actually start eating at 11. Mind over matter, which is hard to do, but I don't know how I fell out of what I needed to talk about, but... Yeah, I apologize. I don't think I'm going to take any of this out either. So, health journey. Uh, the first question, what are your favorite videos to watch? I already answered it. That's probably what made me go into this whole tangent of sugar. <laughs> and it was, uh, I love Dollar Tree and, and uh, Ross. And that's the kind of videos I watch every other day. What are your favorite videos to film? I love to film my hauls. Because I'm not dressed up most of the times. Uh, I do, uh, I'm I just at my regular normal state of me leave just coming from the store and me just showing you my stuff before I start using it. So, 
I love those because those are just me looking as bummy as I can. Just keeping it real and just showing you what I have. What are your least favorite videos to watch? Um, I don't think I have any or, or I wouldn't watch it. But I'm pretty good at not watching anything with uh, any negative impacts of anything. We're talking about people or gossiping or talking about other people all together. Anything about other people, especially people I don't know or understand, then yeah, I'm not going to even try to process and figure out what's going on because I'm one of those people who really can't process a lot of stuff anyways. I can't remember names. I can't remember what happened yesterday, so I wouldn't be able to retain the information long enough for me to try to do the research and figuring out what's happening and it would be a waste of time and energy. So those kind of videos, I would not be able to um, understand. Sorry for the honking. Hope that person is okay. I have the window in the bathroom. favorite videos okay four what is your favorite part of the beauty community I just love our bonding and and um, how we all keep our uh, especially on Instagram let us know what's going on what's afloat what to buy what is cool what's interesting what what to try uh, different DIYs different ways of uh, applying lashes if you don't like doing it this way you could do it that way the alternatives and how we just love to support one another so I love the beauty community. I do. And if there's any kind of negativity, I wouldn't, wouldn't know what's going on. Because I'm, I'm unable to process or figure it out. Five, what is your least favorite part of the beauty community? I don't know. I don't think there's a least or I, am, I haven't been able to figure uh, I haven't hit it or discovered it if there was a negative impact towards it. So, yeah. Only parts that's kind of sad is when someone's in the hospital or hurt or sick. Then I'll, you know, sit out. I'll pray and I just hope that they get better, even though I don't know who they are. I just hope that everything goes well. You know, or if, if they're a family member or a loved one and they announce it or say something about it, you know, I get really sad. So I just, you know, send out a prayer. That's the least favorite part of the beauty community. I just always want everybody to be happy and well and healthy and not sick. Or, or in the hospital either. What motivates you to start your channel? Um, I just wanted to meet other people, new people out there in the world. And um, I wanted to just have a recording of my tone of voice for my kids. Just in case I leave the, the, the earth suddenly, they'll still always know how mommy voice sounds. Would have been one of the first ones. Another, another is to keep yourself busy and occupied just in case you weren't feeling well or very depressed. YouTube is a place that could keep you positive as long as you stay in the positive aspect of it, then you'll be fine. And I love it, I have not stopped since. You will never catch me, well I should not say that. You know, God willing, you know, I'll always try to send out a video at least once a week. You'll probably see, the normal would be two or three, but at least you'll see me out there and if you don't you'll got you guys would already know on IG I'll announce whatever is happening to me there because they're not obviously don't have a camera they're filming things of that nature or if my camera is down and, and stuff like that who motivates wait who motivated you to start your channel it wasn't a person it was just me seven who inspired you on YouTube I didn't know anyone on YouTube the people that was in the Dollar Tree community really motivated me. And there's a lot of them. So there's a, a lot of great, amazing people in, in the Dollar Tree that I love so much that are still filming, that are still doing their thing. And I love them so, so, so much. They are amazing. I love them. Number one thing you would change about the beauty community. I don't think I'll change anything. I think it's still positive. 
So um, we're still working on making sure we could get stuff, uh, you know, foundations and things that are color friendly for us. And, you know, we're breaking down barriers where, you know, we do matter as well in the beauty community. And so many of these young girls are showing so much motivation on the change of the beauty industry. And I'm blessed to witness it. And I'm grateful to to witness it with my own eyes. So there is a beautiful movement in the beauty community where we are getting, you know, heard that our money matters and that, you know, we are going to be able to find our foundations and things that would match our color skin very soon in the future. Some some of the brands are already doing that and Rihanna came out there and changed the game for, for a lot of people too. So absolutely. Eight, number one thing you would change about the beauty community. I think I answered that one. Yeah. Nine, number one advice for the creators slash new people starting out a channel. Okay. This one, don't give up. Just keep going, keep pushing and, and things of that nature. And always just try to improve yourself. Now, I have not improved. I am still the same person from two years ago. So... I'm not a good example, but keep going, keep pushing, and um, don't give up. Nobody, don't give up. Just do it if it makes you happy and you enjoy the community that you built and love, and you have a, a, an amazing family on YouTube. Just keep it going for them, and and, and everything will fall into place. I love filming because I enjoy doing what I do. I love beauty. I love haul. And I just love the people that I have. And I'm grateful for the ones that I have. I love you guys very much. I see every one of you guys in the comic section. And I appreciate every bit of it. Don't give up. Number nine, don't give up. Just keep going. Ten, what do you love about YouTube as a whole? The community. The community. The community. The community is the number one ultimate reason why I am here today. If I didn't have people talk back to me in the comic section, I feel like I am talking to absolutely nobody. But for me to know people by name, know their kids, know what they're doing, uh, for me to follow their children grow, for me to see them grow, for me to see their motivation and their joy in life, just enlightens my spirit. But I, I just love my community. I love the beauty community. I love the hall community. I just love it all together. And we just have an amazing relationship. And I thank you guys so much for always being there for me. I love you guys so much. Continue on being a blessing to others. That was the last question of the tag. I tag everybody else who wants to join in. I'm going to have the questions listed in the description box. And there you guys have it. Continue being a blessing to others, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye.